Folks, welcome to the Mediocre Cover Band Guitar Guy. So it's been a couple of weeks since I've been around, and I apologize for that. I'm sure some people may not have even noticed, but uh, here we are today. We're back at it. So uh, I want to thank everybody for the support of my channel while uh, while I've been away. Um, seems the videos have been being watched. Some of my older stuff has uh, gained some views and comments, and that's pretty cool. I like it when people go back to the older stuff. Um, so today's topic, we're going to talk about self-confidence. Uh, where does it come from or where does it go? It's just like fucking Cotton Eye Joe, I guess. But anyway, uh, you ever like just go in and see somebody play an instrument and they're on stage and that person is just killing it and um, having a good time and they're full of smiles and you think to yourself, wow, they must be like just so on and then you get to talking to them and... Uh, you know, they're really down-to-earth people because there's a difference in cocky and confidence. And a lot of new kids that are coming through today, a lot of them are cocky uh, as opposed to, say, being um, full of confidence, right? Uh, but it's something we all struggle with, and it comes from different places. It could just be, you know, you go through your whole life figuring um, you're, you're, you're being like an imposter. And we talked about that before, the imposter syndrome. And, you know, you, you're, you, you never look at yourself as being equal or uh, as somebody's peer or whatever you just think that well everybody's automatically better than what you are and that may not be the case in most cases probably and through some people it's just being put down repeatedly or even you know it's like the saying goes it takes like a hundred uh, good jobs to um, to overcome negative reinforcement right and that unfortunately happens, you know, and it comes from jealousy sometimes or whatever that can knock you down and strip your self-confidence away. So um, one friend of mine once said that he was confident in uh, what he does because he knows he's put in the work. And he knows that he's playing the same things when he's out with his cover band um, doing the same thing uh, as everybody else. And... The thing with people who write their own music, um, I've often heard it say you just got to keep throwing shit to the wall till it sticks. And then finally, when it does, you know you got something good, right? When, when people start to enjoy it. But you still have self-doubt, you know, and your, your, your confidence might wane a little bit. And it's got nothing to do with stage fright because there are people out there that know they're great players. And then when they get on stage... It's like, okay, I can't do this for whatever reason. It could be just the fear of being in front of people, not playing in front of them, but just being in front of people. Uh, that happens. We covered stage fright a couple of years ago, I want to say. So, But anyhow, um, that's my thoughts on the day. Like I struggle with it constantly, and, and I've said a couple times in uh, previous videos, I had a friend that every time I made a little bit of progress, he would tear it down and say, well, that's no big deal. Anyone can do that, even though his own progress was pretty much stopped. Um, and, uh, you know, he just, I don't know if it was out of jealousy or whatever. You know, this is the guy that said to me he wouldn't play guitar if he couldn't play bar chords because I was struggling with bar chords, right? <sighs> but anyway, um, he was, he's a petty human being, still to this day, actually. But anyhow... Um, so it can come from that, it can come from your own, it can come from just seeing other people. And, and I mean, some players, man, especially guitar players, you go in, they've got like the tone down, they've got every note they're hitting. It's not just correct, it's the way they're playing, everything sounds great. And then you start internalizing your own playing, and then that takes away some of your self-confidence. Because you think to yourself, man, some players just are different, and they seem like they're unworldly and... That's it, you know, everybody's different. And you have to look at your own skill set. If you put the work in and you put the time in and you know you've done that, then you should give yourself a little pat on the back once in a while and say, you know what, I did that. If you can play a complicated piece of music, you can say to yourself when you see somebody else doing it, yeah, that's pretty cool, everybody likes that. I can do it. 
you know, and uh, if you can't, you either say to yourself, I don't want to do it, or just condition yourself to say, I'm going to do that one day. That's I'm going to learn how to play that. I'm going to learn to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to play gigs. I'm going to do whatever. I'm going to get out of the bedroom. I'm, I'm, you know, or when I'm playing my gigs, I'm going to have my rhythm playing tighter. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But for whatever reason, man, I don't know. I'm not a therapist. Uh, but for whatever reason, we need to get out of that headspace and realize music is inclusive to everybody. And uh, we need to let ourselves not be our own worst roadblocks and get out there and do it. Always remember there are people out there that are famous and making money, made money, because you can't make money in music anymore no matter what level you're doing it on. But there are people that are out there right now that are at the forefront of music that might not be as great as a musician as you are. And I'm not saying that you deserve to be famous and they don't or anything like that. I'm just saying be confident in your own abilities. When you're doing your own thing, you're doing your thing and not somebody else's. And that's something I think we all get caught up in sometimes is what the other person's doing. If you're swinging and uh, you're uh, hitting home runs all the time, there's a reason for it, right? And if you're not, there's a reason for it too, and it might not necessarily be you. So don't over-internalize your own playing, no matter what instrument you're on. That's uh, my advice for the day. So cheers.